Hello and welcome to Mangator96 and today we're going to talk about is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon. Today's topic will be a kind goddess that her fellow gods respect and adore. Her, when it comes to a certain white haired boy in her familia, she becomes the embodiment of a jealousy god, with seeing any woman that comes close to said boy as an enemy. I'm of course talking about Hestia. But before we start, here's the spoiler warning, I will be spoiling a lot of things in this video, so if you don't want to be spoiled, I would highly recommend that you're going to read the light novel, as it is an enjoyable read. For everyone else, let's write with who Hestia is. Hestia is a goddess and the head of the Hestia familia. She is a kind energetic goddess. She is always full of energy and is very passionate about her feelings. This in turn makes her someone with a surprising determination willing to spend three whole days in Doge's position to get a weapon for Bell until Hephaestus finally relented. On various occasions, it has been pointed out that she is kind to others. She does not discriminate against anyone and is fair with everyone, even Hera. Both Hephaestus and Penia have noted that she was the only one who didn't make fun of their flaws, the deformity in her friend's eye and the latter status as a goddess of poverty. She is well known for it, which caused Loki to be shocked when she referred to Dionysus as terrifying. On the other hand, she is compassionate and understanding, shown when she accepted Vina and let her stay in her home, even though she was a monster after seeing that she was just like a kid. Although they have a theory of mutual animated, Loki has recognized her kindness as one of her greatest qualities. Hestia is a pacifist, so she usually avoids conflict if possible. In heaven, she came to give Dionysus her place among the twelve main gods of Olympus to prevent a conflict between him and the other gods. Freya noted that she possesses a strong sense of justice, commenting that she would be upset if she saw a slave market. Well, she is quite a simple goddess and is often teased by other gods for being childish, her demeanor has caused her to have relationships with a wide variety of them and her status as a goddess of immortal flame makes her son with authority and an undeniable high position, with Loki suspected that even Oranos and Zeus acknowledge her. Despite all her good features and her typical nice demeanor, she is very different when it comes to Belle. Having fallen in love with her first dependent, she dreams of having a relationship with him and is extremely jealous. Every time she finds out about a new relationship of Belle with a girl, she becomes exalted and seeks to see if that woman has romantic feelings for him. In case that she confirms her fears, she acquires a hostile attitude regarding Belle, seeing all of them as her love rivals. She often argues with Lily about the boy, which is the greatest example of this. She has a notorious antipathy towards eyes due to Belle's feelings for her. Likewise, she constantly tries to keep them apart and maintains her sullen attitude towards her even when Belle is not present. Her dislike and jealousy for her even served as her main motivation to hide from Belle the existence of his skill, Lyra's freeze, even surpassing her desire to protect him. Her jealousy usually makes her act irrational. She once completely prohibited any form of physical contact between men and women of her familia after seeing Belle and Haruhime holding hands. She is also naughty and perverted since she once entered the bathroom to see Belle naked while he was bathing. While her insanely possessive demeanor stands out most of the time she spends with Belle, Hestia occasionally acted appropriately and shown healthy concern for him as well. She also comforted, supported and motivated the young adventurer in times when he was discouraged or did not know what to do, in addition to defending him after he earned the hatred of all of Orario. Although she proves to have a preference for Belle, she is a goddess who has a deep love for her entire familia. She always supports them in the decision they make and tries to encourage them if they are down. Despite her feelings for Belle, she told him to go for Lily back when they fought after the Pallium found out about his feelings for Ice. Likewise, she was fully willing to take responsibility for their actions regardless of the severity and help them through the entire odyssey to save the Xenos. She has been shown to be oblivious at times, as she did not understand Loki's warning regarding Freya at the Denatus or when she cast a stone to blow up a stand sky high. Hestia possesses a certain sense of responsibility, refusing to accept the help of her family members to pay her debt for the Hestia knife, arguing that it was hers and declaring that she will pay it no matter how long it took. In turn, this also provides that she is a hard worker as she holds two jobs just to pay off the debt. 
her, she still has a lazy side that she can get carried away by if allowed to. As she stayed with Hephaestus until she was forced out and later took a while to find work. As for her past, back when she was in heaven, Hestia was one of the gods to guard the sacred flame. After descending to the lower world, she was taken care of by her friend Hephaestus. Soon after, she was asked to leave on her own after she kept freeloading of, of Hephaestus' familia and was given a room at the Abdon church. She tried to create her own familia but wasn't able to recruit anyone. After failing to recruit for the 50th time, she noticed Bell and decided to secretly follow him. She found out that Bell had been trying to enter a familia but was rejected multiple times and seemed to be in the same boat. Hestia then took the chance to recruit him, which Bell happily agreed upon, becoming the first member of her familia. She took Bell to a bookstore, the location she already decided beforehand and granted her Falna to her first dependent. As for her abilities, as the guardian of the sacred flame, Hestia rules over the protective fire, also called Eternal Torch by Oranus. Her, the ability got weakened after she descended to the lower world and thus she cannot do much with it unless an altar is prepared for her. Nonetheless, the flame is extremely powerful to the point of being able to rival Freya's charm. According to Hestia, aside from the gods that lived in Olympus, no one knew about this ability of hers. As a virgin goddess, Hestia is immune to the goddesses of beauty's charm. By releasing her divinity to its full extent, she could receive Freya's charm without being affected. When combined with her power over the flames, she can even undo it, allowing her to remove Freya's control over people. As a goddess, she is very perceptive regarding certain details. Upon seeing Vine for the first time, she immediately noticed that she was not a person, even though she was covered by a cloak, just as she realized that a certain person was an anomaly the moment she saw her. Her sharpness was recognized by Sar, who actively avoided her in order to prevent her from revealing her true identity. She can also easily read mortals and tell if they are lying. As for her relationship with Belle, Belle is Hestia's first familiar member and love interest. She appears to have been in love with Belle since he first joined her familia as no one wanted to join her and the two were alone in the world. She tends to get jealous very easily whenever Belle thinks about or interacts with other girls. She also tends to sneak into his bed to sleep with him. She worries about Belle's health and safety whenever he enters the dungeon. As for her relationship with Ice, Hestia has been shown to dislike Ice, namely because Ice is the reason for Belle's sudden growth in terms of strength and skills, as well as jealousy towards Ice's beauty. She insisted that the reason she didn't tell Belle about his growth state was not only because others will be after him, but because of Ice, even saying it was 90% of the reason. She normally refers to her as Swalin, what's it? As for her relationship with Hephaestus, Hestia and Hephaestus appear to be very close friends, with Hestia even living with Hephaestus for a time, where she was eventually kicked out by Hephaestus and told to find her own familia. They were close enough for Hephaestus to create a weapon for Hestia's familia member Bell. During a conversation with Valve, Hephaestus reveals that the reason the two are close friends is that Hestia was the only one to not laugh or mock her for his disfingered eye. Due to Hestia not minding the eye, Hestia and Hephaestus were able to interact freely with each other. Hephaestus was unable to spend much more time with others because of her eye, and since Hestia had the time to visit her, they later become close friends. After her relationship with Lily, Hestia and Lily are rivals for Belle's affection, often clashing with one another over him. When first meeting Lily, she was quite blunt on her dislike towards her due to the fact that Lily had been cheating Bell out of his money. After Lily saw that she would never do it again, Hestia then asked her to look after Bell and keep him out of trouble to prove that she had changed with her actions. Where she made it known that Bell was hers to which Lily challenged. Besides the topic of Bell, Hestia and Lily also tend to argue about other matters like money. Despite this, the two do care for one another. When Lily surrendered herself to the Soma Familia, Hestia mounted a rescue, saying that Lily was essential to the war game against the Apple family. Furthermore, when Lily received a marriage proposal from Finn Damien and looked inclined to take it, Hestia encouraged Belle to go after her. Similarly, when Belle said he wouldn't turn down a goddess's love, causing Hestia to run off, 
Lily pointed out to him that he may have hurt her feelings if by the off chance she had feelings for a human. After her relationship with Hermes Hestia and Hermes used to have a friendly relationship teeming from their time in heaven, but their domains were located right next to each other. Though they were on good terms, they were not close friends as the two never interacted while on their lower world until Belle and his party were trapped in the dungeon. Though she accepted his help in saving Belle, she remained suspicious of him knowing that his excuse for helping out a friend wasn't the actual reason he was helping her. Their relationship took a major hit during the Xenos incident. After discovering that the Daedalus journal she had been using to guide the Xenos to the dungeon was a fake, she realized that Hermes had set them up. When several of the Xenos started rampaging on the surface, she deduced that Hermes had somehow coerced them into doing so. This incident left a deep feeling of anger within Hestia, joke kicking him when he showed up at the Herod mansion. As yet, she has not forgiven him. With this, I covered everything that I want to cover on Hestia. And that will be all for this video. If you like this video, leave a like, leave your thoughts in the comments below, or subscribe to the channel for more manga reviews and One Piece content. And until next time, take care.